And where are you from? Hi, I'm Chase McMahon, and I'm from uh, sunny Daytona Beach, Florida. Ah, that's where we're at. Um, what do you do? Uh, actually, what I do is uh, I help people with neuropathy, diabetes. I go around the uh, actual world and uh, help people. It's, it's a long story, but uh, I help people that have uh, problems with their nerves. And long you story sell short. them products, right? I sell products as well. I can We can talk about that more later, but long story short, I help people. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and then uh, in your life, I mean, has the climate changed much since you were a kid? Absolutely. I um, mean, of course, the older I get, the more you know. I went to college, so of course, uh, the climate, like you can see what's on television, and you know for yourself. I've always been a skeptic myself, so when we go to uh, listen to what, what's going really on, um, I've seen things that were discussed in news and I've seen things that weren't discussed at the same time and two different like versions of it and it really made me question how what it is so I like to like do things personally and see them from my own eyes as well as believe my news. Um, I, I think that the climate's changed heavily and it should be talked about more. And, and Was it's, it more uh, warmer winters, uh, warmer summers? Uh, it's, you know, uh, it's not even that. Like, I actually, I lived in Minnesota for two years, so I was there for the polar vortex, and then I uh, switched over to Texas, and we got a Nino through. I think it's just a part of life, um, but generally there's something going on faster. Uh, like the... Flooding and or I mean, uh, you're well, here flooding on the West Coast and stuff like that. So in California, of course, you know, I go to I go to L.A. and uh, San Francisco, and that's it, man. That's like uh, when San Andreas is always on fire. But what about Daytona? I'm, I'm wondering about Daytona. It's terrible, and um, it's got its ways. But what uh, environmentally, people are the same. You know, this is a uh, tourist place, so people treat but this place like a trash seen, can. You haven't seen more uh, flooding or. Uh, We've seen more like, uh, I mean, um, the hurricanes are kind of like, the hurricanes do what they do. Um, and, and unfortunately, it's, it, it is God's work. So, yeah, like this, it's all kind of changing. Everything is going up north. We never used to have hurricanes growing up. Every, everybody, when I came up growing up, we would have hurricane parties. And then we would always know the hurricane would be like a three or four. And then it would hit off the coast. And then it would go out into seas. Now it's uh, going to New York and going through the Carolinas and it's changing directions and you know so the weather patterns are absolutely being manipulated with and and then uh, on an everyday basis do you think about it much and let's say let's say on a scale of 1 to 10 10 being the most concerned how bothers concerned me are you? all the time and the worst part is is I'm a nobody so no one really kind of gets this, no one really kindly wants to hear my opinion but honestly I see it I travel every 10 days to a new state I get to see it I can tell you how it really is but do people want to like know the truth? That's the hardest part. Well, that brings us to the uh, last question. Uh, should we be optimistic or pessimistic about the future? And is there anything we can do? I think that you should be both. Honestly, there's really no real answer. More optimistic, I guess. I'm more towards optimism because you have to be open-minded. But if people are in power with open-mindedness, they can control problems, which can make that a, a, a difficult like problem for us in the future. So if things were on track, optimism. Because we always want to keep thinking outside the box. We're scientists at heart. Um, but at the same time, that's, that's just what happens. You know, we're not in the, that world that we were before. So, are you optimistic? If you, if you Joe Biden, or wait, wait, can I, can I, can I, can I? All right. Sorry. Cut you off. You're good. Oh no, go ahead. Uh, realistically, uh, I just, I don't. Uh, my president's the worst. Uh, but he literally, it doesn't make any sense. It's like the story is like, it's like a comic book growing up, watching this guy grow into power and like all these people pushing him for him. He's a puppet, and then seeing all these things and especially the plagiarism from uh, newspapers back in the day, like the New York uh, newspapers. You'd see all like these people in power and they make comical jokes, but it's not funny anymore. About climate or I mean, every what? yeah, climate, environment. Um, the fact that we're being invaded by another country and we're giving 
billions to another country, which I appreciate Ukraine, but what about our homelessness? What about the U what about the United States of America? What about our problems? It makes us look good around the world, but we have our own issues that we should like focus on first. And then we like if you focus it's like a relationship. You gotta you gotta be a good person and then you gotta love another good person and then you have a great personality and good like relationship. That should be like anything. Like right now we're just all over the place. And and so climate is just one of many things you're worried about. Climate is one it's it's a very huge thing I'm worried about. Like I notice a difference and, and yes, it it should be talked about a lot more. All right. Yeah. And and you do think there's something that we can do or no? I, I, I... There's a lot that we could do. We can uh, actually unite, but it's going to take a lot of people. And I mean, the best way to do it is, of course, you know, on the internet. We just need people like you guys to do it together for this company. And if you have it, if there's a URL or anything, you should put it right here and then help us. Very good. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, today is what it's my is pleasure. Today, today is, is Thursday. The 19th. Yeah. The 19th of January here in Daytona Beach. Thank you very much. You're welcome.